Hello, collective consciousness of the universe. Thanks everyone to who is stopping over for my videos, to all of my new subscribers. Hey, how you doing? And to everyone else, hello, my dearies. Um, I'm going to do a reading for Twin Flames and Separation. I'm going to pick up on the energy of your person. Um, these energies are interchangeable, so it can work for you if you resonate with the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine energy here. Um, I will leave that up to you to use your discernment for that. So the energies are interchangeable. Kings and be Queens and vice versa, right? Um, Goose, inner knowing. And then we have the white stack protector. Um, for the twin flame journey, I don't like to be misleading to anyone. I will open up by letting you guys know that this is a very difficult, very hard, very trying challenge. Um, I've tapped out and given up on my connection to my person, and some of you may do the same as well. I just do that for my overall mental health. Um, it's not healthy to hold on to these connections and attachments to people that, for the most part, most of us here in the physical won't probably experience this person in this lifetime. Maybe they just came to awaken you and teach you a lesson or to get you on your greatest path. Um, it doesn't mean that you still won't have an experience of greater good high, very high vibration of love, but please don't go to your grave having had held onto a connection with someone that's somewhere else married, happy and living their best life when you should be doing the same thing. Please live your life and don't wait for anyone. It's not that serious. You're beautiful. You are love and you're worthy of love. But for those of you who would like to spy on your person's energy and know a little bit about what's going on over there, let's continue. White Stack Protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Some of you have awakened to that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful white stack energy. That's what's up. Okay, let's continue. Goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident and you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. So in this energy, I believe that the universe and your angels would like you to know that, of course, you are never alone in this journey. Um, those wings that fly solo fly the strongest because they don't have anything weighing them down. And you know that and you're being um, receptive and open to the new energies that are coming your way. Um, on the other side with your person, I'm feeling that they are awakening to the connection. Um... I'm getting the energy of some of your twin flames who want to come in here because they have an inner knowing and since they know that you are the one that you are this old soul and this connection and this person in their life they just want to come in and be like that protective force in your life um you are their person and they feel like only their person even if you've never experienced this person or had a relationship your person already feels like you are their person like they already have claims on you <laughs> energetically crazy all right so for your twin flames energy we have the ninth house, which is Sagittarius. Growth, expansion, abundance here, right? The Jupiter energy. Jupiter is a planet that rules Sag. Then we have the second house here, which is Taurus energy. So this is Venus and Taurus and Jupiter and Sag. And what this means, the cards read, this energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. So because your person is awakening to their inner being, to their higher self, and all the spiritualities and good energies around, they're going to be very abundant here. I see that your twin is working on manifesting and creating things that are beautiful to them. They're bringing this tangible energy of Venus here, the abundant, lucky, fortunate, creative, um, growing energy of Venus here. Um, the card reads your assets finances and the things that you value so your person of course values you and because of this they're working on themselves so that they can create and have more value to bring into the connection with you fourth house energy cancerian energy this is about home and the things um that you create that you're proud of your roots um your being who you are i see that your twin flame sees you as someone they want to grow with into an abundant happy home type of situation and this person is um growing they're expanding their consciousness here it could be someone that you met when you were out on foreign travels or affairs or someone online that you met as well all right let's get some energies from the twin flames and separation deck spirit if you will if you will, my lovely, awesome spirit guides. Energy for the twin flames and separation. How does this person feel about my viewers, my watchers? All right. How do they feel about you? Twin flames and separation. How do they feel about their person? How do they feel about their person? All right. 
I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Then we have, I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. And the third card reads, you are too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. Couldn't handle the connection, I see that. Um, I always look for you at the airport as if we'll be at the same place in the world. This person misses you, right? Some of you guys did meet your person at an airport. The last card reads, would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? For some of you, there's been a lot of time that went past here. Um, for some of you guys, 12 or 13 years, I get 14 months for some of you guys. Um, and for others, could have been even shorter than that or longer than that. That was just the um, energies. And the time frame that I picked up on tarot is definitely timeless. So of course, some of you guys' journeys are just not going to resonate with that time frame at all. However, some of you will take that that resonates and that that does not just leave it for the next watcher, right? Okay, I'm filling this deck today. Spirit's got me calling on these guys. What messages does the tarot have for my awesome, amazing collective twin flame? For the collective consciousness of the twin flames. For those beautiful infinite beings who identify as the twin flames. Spiritual energies do we have for these lovely, lucky signs and souls. So if the energy of the person you're dealing with comes out or the sign, all the better. And if not, it doesn't mean that it's not your person. It's just that that is not the energy. Ooh, look at that. Okay, we got two of cups and eight of pentacles here. That's soulmate energy. That's mutual love, respect. And then the eight of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the water energy is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You can be dealing with any of those signs. I'm saying that your person wants to come in. They're working on bringing an offer to you because they see you as the one and they want to make sure that it's mutual. So as I said, this person is definitely working on their finances so that they can bring in something that's tangible because they see you as the one. They see you as their focal point. That's where their attention is at, creating for you, manifesting for you and for this connection to be able to bring something into the picture, to be able to be abundant, right? What messages do we have? For the Twin Flame Collective Spirit. For the Twin Flame Collective. Let me cut. Spirit says cut that Death Star dust. I will most definitely do that. Oh, Knight of Cups. Oh, Three of Pentacles. Someone you met at work or you used to work with. That imprint showing up again. Wow, okay. Yep. Mm. Okay, so we have Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, The Empress, Libra, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Four is Aquarius. I'm saying that this person is definitely working on themselves because they've identified you as the one. This person knows about the connection with the goose, the inner knowing. This person knows about the connection. So they are manifesting their ass off right now, creating a life of abundance and balance and stability to bring into you and the connection. Um, this person is definitely going to be coming in with an offer here. You have the Knight of Cups. This person is very smitten with you. Um, they're very much in love with you and they just want to come and offer you this cup. However, they want to get together with you to collaborate. This person puts you on a pedestal and they see you as a work in progress. Definitely. Definitely. The Empress energy here the, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person sees you as very nurturing, caring, abundant gifted and blessed they know that you have untapped potential and talents and they don't mind helping to bring that out in you as well you're a work in progress and they know that um the empress is the queen of all queens this could be someone you have kids with or someone that you're married to uh, or someone that has kids and is married to someone else as well um, this other person, if they are married, could be the breadwinner here in the connection. And it could be why they just don't feel the connection. Four of Cups anymore with this person is discontentment and boredom. I see that your twin flame is bored with the connection that they have with someone that is their breadwinner. Um, they want to take a leap of faith and come towards you here, right? Take the risk of leaving and walking away from this Empress energy, this Queen of Pentacles, and come towards you because their heart lies with you. They want to work on this soul connection with you, right? It doesn't matter about all the other pentacles what else is going on in this person's life they see you as the one they want to create with and come into right in your energy i see that you can want to come towards your person and work out things from the past 
um, situations, whatever happened between you guys to cause the split. Um, I just see that you're definitely taking control of your life. And you're being very creative, very abundant. And because of that, you're going into your Queen of Pentacles energy. You're balancing that inference because you are the Queen of all Queens to them. They see you as the one, the divine person that they want to create with. And they also see you as someone that is very um, nurturing and giving, like a protector. The Queen of Pentacles um, is abundant. She um, overextends sometimes, gives a lot. It's very resourceful. It could be someone who is employed um, by themselves, who is entrepreneurial, or has their own business here as well in this inference and Queen of Pentacles energy. This is a CEO. This is a boss, right? This is someone that has their shit together. Their money is doing fine. So this person um, in your energy, I'm saying if this is you and your energy, but if this is your person's energy, this person is working on a split from someone that they want to walk away from. If they want to come towards you because this other connection is not serving them. They're sick and tired and bored of it. And with you and your energy, you're just tired of waiting around. Like nothing is making you happy. No one is making you happy. You just want your person. Um, nine of Wands. Wounded warrior, I see overwhelmed, but you could also have blocked your person or your person could have blocked you. More information, spirit, for the twin flames. <laughs> oh, ooh, nine and ten. Nine and ten. So things are really nearing the end. Things that you've been overwhelmed with and burdened down. It's taking a lot for this person to take this stick they have and to move forward this person doesn't see the type of support that they have from spirit here with all of these um wands and the and i hope i said wands instead of swords i thought i said swords correction if i did that so for the wands that are in the back here that are standing behind your person this is a support your person has and they can call on these reserves but right now they choose to you know feel more overwhelmed like they just have too much going on, too much on their plate right now. And it's definitely cycling out. It's going to be the end of a very, very difficult situation. And it's taking a lot of strength and courage for this person to move forward and um, begin to start this process of detaching from the karmic here. Walking away from all that they've known from their money and could potentially be something that they felt at one point was a soulmate. Until they met you, you know, so they met that twin flame magician. Yep. Gemini Virgo energy here. This person is manifesting you, creating a life by design, not by default. There's someone here that could be manipulating as well and controlling in that magician type of energy. So do be careful about that. This person could feel that they're being overwhelmed and controlled by someone in their life who is the breadwinner, who has all the coins. This person could be very powerful and be telling them things like, oh, you know, you're not going to see the kids anymore. Um, if you leave, you take the split, all of your money, you can forget about it. You know, just really controlling them and keeping this person in the low vibrations. Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this person is, you know, kind of crying over spilt milk, knowing that it's going to be you know, a lot going on when they do walk away from the situation of person, but those two cups in the reserve are your two cups that you have with your person. When this person walks away, they're going to clear that energy and be able to pick up those cups and manifest this connection moving forward with you, that you as well as the universe and your angels want to see happen. They are letting you know that it's abundant, that there's room for lots of prosperity, growth, and abundance here with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, right? So person wants to be victorious with you they want recognition they want to be victorious i see here success is coming whoa oh and that card i just can't unsee that i cannot unsee that king of wands energy right aries leo sag this person is watching you they're observing you they want to know what's good with my twin this person is in this position of wanting to get up here you know, wanting to get up with this wand, wanting to take it and come forward. The King of Wands is about taking action, but as someone is very attractive, very alluring, very abundant here, this person's money is doing will, will, and now what they say is law. Like, when this person has their mind made up and something or someone they want in their line of vision, forget about it. They get tunnel vision and just go right for it. But this person is being held back right now and something is keeping them from moving forward. Although they want to get up and take that wand and come towards you to move towards you, they're being stuck and stagnant right now because of situations that they haven't all the way worked out on the home front i feel it's very overwhelming to them and it has them feeling at a sense of loss here you got four and five of cups here so it's been a slow progression leading up to this person just feeling more agony more discontentment more missed opportunities here with you and um, they could be fearing rejection here because they see you are in your imprints energy here with the queen of pentacles they know that um, you are doing well to do without them the imprints does not attract or 
um, does not chase or pursue she strictly attracts so this person as well as other people in your experience could be very attractive to you they could be seeing you as someone that is in the public eye right now and there's a lot of expansion and success here for you right creating those happy healthy relationships and definitely going for the gusto is what i'm seeing first chakra archangel michael and caring connections so what is this first chakra read card 35 stability and security right michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra which is located at the base of the spine this is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored when this card is upright it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues even if you had problems with feeling secure in the past these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time archangel michael is with you bringing you strength and personal stability you are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. All right. Archangel. Michael. And then caring connections, of course. Caring connections. There's a definite soul tie and bond here between your person and they know it. They feel that with that goose, the inner knowing here. Their soul has traveled and been with you many lifetimes. You guys have taken this journey many, many times before. And um, the universe is definitely bringing situations to you guys through synchronistic events to manifest this here in the physical for you guys. I'd like to know what the romance angels would like to add to this from a twin flame and separation. Romance Angels, what would you like to add for my lovely twin flames? What would you like to add for my beautiful twin flames? Attraction. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we had attraction here, didn't we? What would you like to add for my twin flames? What would you like to add for my twin flames? Honeymoon, this person sees you as the one. They want to get away and spend some time alone together with. This person wants to take you on a little trip. I'm here in a vacay. They want time alone with you. They are attracted to you and you are very alluring to them. Your energy, you're very magnetic. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Put this person in a childlike state of mind. You make them feel alive and renewed. You attract romantic love by fully enjoying this moment, loving on yourself, fully enjoying that energy and loving on you. It's going to help bring in this connection with your person. So, any more messages for, <laughs> any more messages for my lovely purity? <laughs> All right. This love is very pure. It's very in my lap with this card. <laughs> Resilience. Oh, man. Ooh, if that ain't that nice ones. Okay, let me show you the visuals, too. Okay, there we go. Three cards, baby. Three cards. All right. And gratitude. So you have purity here. I want that from the book. And some of these cards be calling on me to go into the book. I can give you my spiel, but I know the book comes with it, with it. So let's get it. Purity. This card reads... Look for the simplest and cleanest solution. Understand your motives for doing what you are doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. All right. And then we have card number 21 here. Resilience. And this card depicts the same thing like your nine of wands. Resilience. Perseverance. Holding on. Look at that. This person is burdened down. What does this card read? Making mistakes builds resilience. I have learned my lessons from the mistakes I have made. I stand strong. I am an adult and I act with self-responsibility. Period. So that 10 of wands type of energy, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you're burdened down, don't know which way to go, don't know what to do next. The universe is saying, now is the time to stand up and take that reserve. You got to move forward and allow the process. Period. Gratitude. 23 i take that from the book too why not took everybody else um gratitude <laughs> so be where you are and be thankful there's always something to be grateful for no matter what you're suffering gratitude raises a lower vibration to a higher one do not allow yourself to be surrounded by too many negative people life is conspiring for you life is conspiring for you so these negative people and places and things that don't serve you, they may put you in the negative low vibration. They makes you want to give up, even though 
things are getting better but you don't see any proof of that right now the universe is saying trust in the process believe and be resilient take those reserves and move forward it's coming to an end you're going to begin to see your benefits right archangel michael would like to add for the lovely twin flames of separation like i said it's your energy or your person's energy i try not to really too much focus i just like to give a general reading like this is definitely general for you twins archangel michael what messages do we have let go of fear no okay what else what else do we have here angel michael let go of fear now for you guys explore your options and sense of humor don't take life too seriously don't forget to stop and laugh at things let go of fear now um explore your options there may be a lot going on right now um, but there is going to be a favorable outcome for you so what archangel michael would like you to know there's going to be a favorable outcome right so i'm gonna get you guys from my little deck i like i don't even want kipper for this um i just want some green oracle green oracle what messages do we have for the twins for love and separation what messages do we have spring and the wild <laughs> so for some of you guys it's looking like springtime things are going to begin to come into alignment for you guys 11 the wild that is stability balance it's a gateway you have a portal opening up around you right now um that's probably going to take some time until the spring before you guys really start to open up and begin to understand why what is going on around you is happening why things that have happened um even as of most recently has happened and begin to manifest from that energy know that um the universe